in college. Well, always like, look at all the possible crap. Okay, look at all the possible, he wouldn't normally say crap, but look at all the you know, things that we could do. Ooh, draw some lines. Extend the lines. So we could, we could extend some lines. So if we extend some lines, we could extend out here. We could extend like this line if we wanted. Okay, so we could extend, I don't know. Sammy told me to extend some lines, so I'm extending some lines. I showed you in front of the people five times, so sorry, but no sympathy. My apologies, but no sympathy here. Okay, but, I mean, <coughs> excuse me. I can see some certain relationships there, like some supplementaries. So, we've got, like, <coughs> a, well, I was moving really slow. I need to uh, shut down a couple things. We have a green interior angle and a red exterior angle, or that red exterior angle. And we could say that green plus one of the reds we know would be 180. I don't know if that's helpful in proving our, our sum formula. Because our sum formula is 180 times n minus 2. So essentially, this is the degrees of a triangle, right? Like we, we talked about, this is where we start, right? We start here. So what is the square root of two triangles? Square root of two triangles. And so now with the triangles, we've got 180 on each, and we know that. If we draw that line through our quadrilateral. What do you know about your three blue angles? Oh, I think they're, they're all, all out of uh, 180. What do you know about your three green angles? So basically, whenever you add a side, you add like a little triangle. So draw that justification for the rest of these right. shapes. Draw it oh, as the shapes of the triangle. It'll look different depending on where you start. But if I say I start from this vertex, there's one triangle, and there's another triangle. Yeah, you could draw the ruler if you want. Yeah, I'll draw the Really? I got you. Service with a smile here. You guys are like, yeah, he's smarter than I am. You know, like when you go to Disney World and all those like people wearing those giant costumes are smiling, but on the Yeah, let's see, there are children in other countries that don't ever have a ruler. You could just appreciate it. It sounds like you just wear a Wait, can't be a uh, square or two face? Uh, That's not very nice. Why? Because you could or could not marry for them. Maybe I like that. You guys will be grateful. They love you. It sounds like they're going to marry you. So, in a five gone, right? Pentagon. We'll bring it back together. Any five gone, how many triangles do we see? Trace. Right. In a septa? What is six? Hex. Hex, thank you. I, I use septa and seven. I'm like, what? why am I just blanking? So in a six gone. And it doesn't matter where you draw them from. You just can't have one triangle going through the other triangle. So like, this would not work, at least to justify my, my sum, because now my triangles are overlapping and intersecting, and that is no good. And you can actually draw them all from the same point. Yeah, you can also have some fun with it. <laughs> Justification for the triangle oh, angles or the polygon angle sum theorem. <laughs> so in our eight gone or octagon, the six triangle doesn't matter how we draw them. So we'll have six times one. Now yesterday we were talking about situations. Where Sophia brought up circles, or somebody brought up circles. Go back. 
do secretly more than just continue to show up in the front of the to see what we're doing. No, I didn't. Dude, I'm mad at her. She stood in the corner and just watched us watch the music video the entire um, time. It was very scary. He, I mean, I can share the sympathy with him of, like, I can get stuck, like, focusing on something. So what doesn't work is to start from the middle and draw triangles and talk about that. Now, we will use different proofs like this, but the reason this doesn't work is always the angle measure of all of these interior angles will be 360. Right? If you add up all of always if you draw some center point and you draw lines out to your vertices, that's always going to be 360. So actually, guys, still the sum, well, this should make sense to you, the sum of all of these right angles will still be the same, but this is not how we draw that proof. We're drawing the triangles from vertex to vertex, not into some center point. Now, we will use this later to talk about other things, just not yet. Any preguntas? So on the paper where you have this table, except it's not there. Uh -huh. I made my eight look really simple. This would be three sixty. Uh, right? Get it? Six, four, six, wait, no, no, six, wait. One thousand seven hundred sixty-four. How'd you get it? Six, four, six, four, six wait, no, no, six, wait. One thousand seven hundred sixty-four. Yeah. I did one hundred. Seven, 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 Remember what I said yesterday? I threw that info at you so that we could go really fast today. Yeah. This, according to CPM, should have taken us like a lot longer to discover why this works. But we already talked about why, and actually I think you know that from previous classes. Because you can break your shape in a triangle. Any polygon, because as we defined it yesterday, it's a closed shape made of straight lines. Any polygon can be broken up into triangles. No, because it's already a triangle. So we look back at that. I mean, that's a good question. I mean, we could, but it doesn't break up into like two complete. Like you could drop a line, but here's the issue. Ah, it's not one of the interior angles. If I break this up, we can, right? But this is not an interior angle. So you would need to subtract 90 and subtract 90 from your 180 and 180. So you'd be subtracting 180 from your 180. This wouldn't make sense. Scam, is that what you said? Let's make sure I'm not skipping anything. All right, so regular polygons. This is where it gets really fun. Really fun, right? Regular. Huh? Where, where, when people want to name their look, uh, people name their kid orange. People like you can name your kid whatever you want. Fern <laughs> is helping a friend. Be nice. Look, what's the difference between a name of like Fern and Lily? Like they're both kids. Sunny Daisy. Your middle school is showing. Can we move on so then you can maybe have some homework time? Yeah, it's something I've started saying to my seventh graders. Are your seventh graders showing? Of like we need to be pushing for eighth grade behaviors now. Right, your middle school is showing where you can't stay focused because the name was Fern. That has nothing to do with the math. Quit being judgmental of people's names. I've lived a life of people thinking my name was Mike when I said, no, it's Micah. I'm not hesitating with my name. That's my name. So regular, what do we say regular means? Everything's the same, right? All the angles, all the sides. Equilateral triangles are the first regular polygon that we talked about. So this would be a regular hexagon. hexagon, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, equal sides, equal angles. So what we do to figure out the interior angle of a regular polygon is first, what would you think we should draw? Figure out how many of those things are 
figure out the total oh, anger, uh, the total <laughs> angles. Figure out how many extra So, we know this is a what gone? Sorry, I should have slide down here. Hexagon 6, right? So, 180 times 6 minus 2, that's 720. Then what should we do? Divide by 6. And the interior angle of a hexagon. Could be negative. If it's a regular hexagon, yes. If it's not a regular hexagon, then you know it's irregular and it's less fun. Do that on your own with the octagon. Oh, okay. I love right, octagon. Where do we do it? So then, we do it on the top. Figure out your total interior angle sum. So 8 minus 2 times 180. And take it away from. This is 135. 135. Now, so we might hypothesize. We went up by two sides. We went up by... 15 degrees. So what then? So what what could we, I don't know, if we're trying to make some kind of conjecture, what gon should we work with now to play with? A 10 gon. Let's try a 10 gon. So, ten gone. so if we have a 10 gon. Yeah, this is a deca gon. This is a deca gon. Not a dodeca gon, it's a deca gon. I call it a dirt gray. So, 10. When I can hear pedigree, the words were too quiet. But when I can't hear pedigree, the words were too loud. <laughs> so, what's 8 times 180? You'll start to memorize these. Uh oh, it's 10 times 180. Hey, here's an easy way 8 times 180. Guys, Continue to break math up through your whole math career. 800, 640, right? 1440. Guys, I like, I literally can't explain to you how different mathematical thinking is when you learn to break the numbers up. We did not. Back when I was in school, seriously, teachers just like would say, get a calculator. But, like, they wouldn't tell you to break it up. Or they'd, oh they'd say, do 18 times 8. Come on, that's not that hard. And you'd stack 18 over 8. Like, Break the numbers and make it easy. So if this is your total, then we divide by 10. Each angle is, oh, 140. Four? So do you add a That wouldn't work, right? So is there a clean rule where we can say each additional line adds this much to? Because we went from an eight gone, right? We had an eight gone. What was each interior angle? 135. 135. Not should have, right? We just were hypothesizing. So there's no clean rule, at least that we know yet. There might be, but it might be like complicated, right? Because this then went up by nine. It went up by two sides and went up by nine degrees. Wait, so it went up 9 degrees on each of, we're not going to spend a lot of time with this, but I wonder if there is anything you could do to say, well, when I increase by one side, I increase by, well, how many degrees do we increase by for each side? No, it doesn't. When I go up oh, a side. How do you add like 180? 180, right. So every additional side, or every additional n, right? Yeah, our sum increases by 180. Is there a way that you could jump from your 8 gon to your nonagon, which is a 9 gon? And just know, without doing all of the math over again, Thinking about those numbers, we found out those numbers aren't clean. I know, but you can do that too. Just for that, can you find the mean? Can you do this? We'll come back to this if we have time to go to the class.
It's an interesting thought to think about, but it's not something we have to tell each other. So Jen's kind of hypothesizing all of these like Dr. Smith suggestions of draw some lines. So flip your paper to the back. So what about exterior angles? An exterior angle, and I'll be careful because how we draw, how we drew, excuse me, the other one, I had lines going like both directions. Excuse me, when we want to look at exterior angles, draw them all kind of doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. Essentially, what I'm saying is make supplementary pairs, but don't make vertical angles. So don't, don't draw both triangles. extensions. Yeah, I mean, we could, but then you have two different exterior angles. We don't want to deal with that. And we have a hexagon and a triangle. So, what's A going to be? I don't know. The interior is what's funny. Yeah, and we have a little table, right? We can always reference back to that table where we got them all quickly told to us. Is the exterior only double? If the exterior is double of the interior, wait, what's the question? Is the exterior double of the interior? Not double, okay. it's the supplement. So, so the angle just told me this. No, no, that's not what I meant. I meant like the sum of all the exterior angles together. Mm, I don't know. Liang said this is 120, so this will be 60. So this will be 60. 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 So 60 times 6 will be 360. Always equal 360. I have no idea. I can see the exterior angles and triangles. Interesting. So you guys have these on your sheet, and I did not actually copy them on here yet. Try it with a couple of the other shapes. So Fia said she already did triangles, so try with one on the bottom. I so I gotta cut this into my thing. I thought I had this. Mmm, what about when they're not regular, I heard of? That's why I'm still on two. What do you mean you know? Okay, well, so you have, so like depending on the um, shape, so like how many vertices you have, that you know that's, that's how many 180s you have, or, well, I mean. Minus two from that? Yeah, I, I know, but so like, so say you have like, let's say. Sure, which okay. one do you want? Quadrilateral, triangle? Quadrilateral. So, um, okay, so like you know that you have, um, so for the four inside corners, you also know that you have four sets of 180s. That's super messy. I'm not judging you. Oh my god. Okay, I can't. Because you do this quote all day. I like how you're about to say for a living, but then you stopped yourself because teachers get paid garbage. Yeah. Well, you do it all I day. I do this part of, what are you doing? I don't care. You're, uh, oh, it's, it's about to add a graph. It is. Yeah, oh, you, well. clicked, you clicked bar chart. Why do you keep doing this? Because you get paid so little. You literally, so they literally so create the If you want the quick answer, it's because America doesn't value education like we do other schools. Okay. We what? don't value the fact that all the people that take really it's important careers so in awesome. medical and everything else start by getting taught by elementary and middle school teachers. But I'll get off that soapbox because it doesn't matter. We're making extra pays, all right. Like in the grand scheme of things, you know, I don't think I get underpaid. I okay, more than my dad's paid. So. Yeah. Um. So you said you have four quarters, right? They all add up to one eighty. And since you hey, know. this is your class in eighty. You can disrespect me, but this is not cool. Okay. So you have the you know you have the four things that add up to that one eighty total, and you know that in the middle is. 360. So if you have four 180s over two 180s, that comes out to two 180s, which is pretty good. So you know that the outside is 360. No, 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 no. Hold up. Take it back. Quit, like, yeah. stopping listening. I know. She was still going. So hold on. Yeah. Say again what you were saying. Okay. So we know that if you took the outsides and the insides all together, it'd be there's four sets of 180 there, so, right? Are you with her that the four colored angles she drew are all supplements? Yeah. So it's four 180 sets. Yeah. Okay. And then and she stop. Just listen. And the inside, you know that that angle measures 360, right? Yeah. Because it was four minus two. Yeah. 
Yeah. Times 180. Which is two 180s. That's, I think that's where you, you were confusing people saying four 180s, two 180s. It was like just too quick. Yeah, I'm no, with wait, you. Can you go over that again? It was a lot of 180s. Really quickly. Yeah. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Leave that. Jump down to the Pentagon and show it again, okay. and maybe they'll like stick with you. Or do you want to talk and you draw? And actually, stop drawing for just a second. The computer's so slow right now because this is still open. There you go. Things should speed up a little bit. Okay. So, I'll help narrate for Sophia as she finishes drawing. If we add red plus green plus blue plus purple plus whatever other color she chooses, that is five one eighties because it's a five gun. Okay. Yeah. And in the middle, so yeah. And in the middle, you know that what what the angle is in the That also might be where you're getting confused. She's not dividing. She's actually subtracting. Oh, I'm still dividing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm subtracting. I'm sorry. So you know that it's 540, which is three 180s, right? Yeah. That's two A's. So that's what I realized you had written up top that looked yeah. like division. Oh, it's right? not. That look, that's subtraction. Wait, yeah. You've got five 180s, and then so, you only have three. That's because inside yeah. of the shape, we know it's five minus two. 180s, right? Because it's n minus 2 times 180. Oh, okay. So Sophia is trying to find the total sum of the exterior. So part of the red, part of the green, part of the blue, part of the purple, part of the black. She took away the three 180s because she knew the inside red, inside green, inside blue, inside purple, inside black add up together to three 180s. Doesn't matter what they each individually are. We don't care about that. You didn't know exactly what you were trying to figure out, which is kind of no. point sometimes. What we've discovered is always, if you draw the exterior angle, it's going the same way, same direction, like doing the same thing, whatever you want to say. That, go ahead and put it together for us. What did we discover again? Yeah, okay, so we discovered that um, the, the exterior angles won't always add up to 360. Oh, wow. The sum of those exterior angles, regardless of if it's regular or not, add up to 360. So that's just a cool little like back pocket strategy of like, okay, if I know that, that might be useful later. Right? Like, so we now know, you can just leave on the table or whatever, we now know the interior sums are always n minus 2 times 180. And we also know exterior angle sum to 360. Okay, these things are probably both going to be useful. Probably. Hey look, that's our lesson for today. Like I said, we should be moving faster. So today, to stay on pace for this week, we got to start 822. So we're going to we're going to do this tomorrow. It'll be your homework tomorrow. So we'll actually pick this up tomorrow, but we got to start. We got to start talking about it because it's going to keep applying the things we just learned. So, I, wait, go ahead. It's not about, it's kind of about the lesson. I was looking at this thing, and it has, like, I think it's supposed to be a two-day lesson. Yeah, eight to two is supposed to be a two-day lesson. Wait, should we go ahead and do all of those problems? Do all of what problems? I mean, so, here's the secret, and I don't even care that this is recording. Here's the oh, okay. I don't care. You should care. Okay. And I just want more coffee. I'm not trying to be dramatic. <laughs> I don't care what homework problems you actually end up doing. I know that there's probably ways to find the answers and even probably solutions on the internet. Trust me, as somebody who survived college by Googling some forums, I, when you don't know it and your prof didn't teach it well enough, you go search elsewhere where people talk to each other about stuff. So literally, I survived college math by going and reading what other people were saying about the math I was trying to do. Like, not cheating, but like I found the answers elsewhere. So with those big homework assignments, 
if we have the time over the evenings, we shouldn't try to practice all those problems because it's good for us. But if you skip a problem because you're like, I know how to do that, I'm not going to spend my time on it, that's okay. I'm going to respect you and respect your time and hope that you're telling yourself the truth because you're not tricking me. I don't care. You're tricking yourself, right? So if you decide I want to do this problem and I don't want to do that problem because that's a waste of my time, I don't really care. I really don't. If it's like a calculator plug and chug, those are sometimes useful to make sure you can type things in correctly. So just make sure you don't skip all of those because typing in your calculator is kind of an important skill. 833, check it out, talk with each other about it, see if you have any idea how we could solve this. Guys, that's uh, all unveil, unveil uh, reveal, whatever you want to say. Um, every teacher's secret. <laughs> not like none of us really like. It's not going to make or break us what you do. What it does is impact your future. You're only with us for a year, right? If a kid doesn't do their work at other schools, they just fail. They get a bad grade and they move on to somebody else. Like where we at Phoenix hope that the brainwashing has worked. Is, yeah, like you, that's what S just is to be with you when you guys come in and we assign actions and we talk about what is mastery and how do you know truth and how do you know what's real. We hope that you care, right? And you guys, like, you seem to. Athena will put on a front sometimes, but then she got the best score on the last mastery we had. So, you know, oh, she acts like she doesn't serious? care, but yeah, I got to give those back to you guys. But oh, yeah, I need the math up today. Yeah, I can. I can. Let's get through the rest of the lesson. But that's, I was chuckling to myself. So I'm like, here's Athena acting like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> yeah, Athena's always <laughs> like, I'm going to take honors with you. That's why I'm going to copy your work. Like, no, yeah, so I hope you guys, like, have confidence in yourself. And some of it's middle school, like, oh, doing homework isn't cool. Being smart isn't cool. But, so here's a challenge. You know what being smart right. is? You'll get you in a good college high back. Oh, you're right. So if we know... That six is from the mid, uh, not midpoint, the center of the square out to the vertex. And then the eight is the edge of the regular hexagon. And I bet this is going to take you the rest of class time. How could we solve the areas of those shapes? You work with each other. You're not asking me. You can sketch them on your paper if you want. You can... So a square is a regular quadrilateral, right? And then you have a regular oh, hexagon. Wow. So they talk don't... with each other. Okay, okay, can I say something? Yeah, I was going to say, so if you know all of those are six and we know all of those triangles on the square are isosceles, so you have a six and a six, and then you just need to figure out the base right. of those triangles, and then we can match those together. Yeah. Or, mm -hmm. or Hey, what if everybody does their method that they're talking about for 60 seconds on your paper and then you compare the results you get? Because um, nobody has said anything I, wrong yet. You're still I, kind of grasping for every day. I, Don't look I, at me. Don't look I, at me. Yes, I am. I'm I'm trying to get back. Number one always says get the regular. And you can continue from previous days. No, actually, you know what? I'm going to have to The only reason I don't force like a math notebook is I realize turning in a notebook is annoying. <laughs> like, you can do a binder. You can do whatever you want to keep your, your graph paper together. I don't care. So I'm going to sketch some of those things that you guys said out loud. Really?
There are multiple methods here. Wow. wow, fancy that. It's like math is kind of rooted in multiple ways to get to the same place. If I pull this purple triangle out, the edge length of my square is really like the hypotenuse of one of my small triangles. Or if we pull the blue triangle out, then I have the hypotenuse of 12 and edge lengths of whatever else I have to figure out. Or like radical 2 times half of 12 or something like that. So wait, we use, in which special right triangle do we use the radical 2? Oh no, I saw right isosceles. It's right isosceles, right? So the 45, 45. So that's where we use radical 2. Um, there's a reason we're talking about this before I give you your test spell. Radical 2 times what? Wouldn't that be more than the hypotenuse? Oh, that can't be true. No, it has so it's, it's it's twelve over radical two. Twelve over radical two? Yeah, yeah, yeah because it's because it's because it's the it's the um isosceles right to the right. Okay, well I'm I'm, I'm just double checking. I don't know. What oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So isn't it normally though like those two sides like the legs are the same? Well, if it's isosceles, yeah, but I'm trying to make sure that we know how to get this side. So then, yeah, that would be 12 radical. So what you're saying is 12 is really like radical 2 times x when x is one of these sides. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because that's the rule that we were used to, and that's probably where <laughs> that is not That is not what I wanted. So 12 divided by radical 2, what's that get us? So Sophia's saying, actually, just just work that. Yeah, you, you don't want to round it, you want an area. Mm. So, so then my area is what? Um, that square, which comes out to this. So Sine. 12 divided by radical 2 is just radical 1. It's 92. But to find the area, it's that edge length times itself, yeah. right? So, Go ahead, Sammy. I did a kind of a different method. I did two different methods. But if you just do like area of triangle, it is half of it. So wait, taking yet another method, this purple triangle that I pulled out the small piece, this would, because it's a 45-45, this is, you guys said, square root 2 times the leg, so this is radical 2, like 6 radical 2? So that's one of these. Is 36 times 2, which is 36. So it doesn't matter what 36 is. Yeah, Okay, interesting. Now here, though, in the hexagon. Oh, don't give us a number. Give us techniques. Yeah, I, give us methods. So I split it up like that into two mm -hmm. separate triangles, and then I figured out what the area for one of them would be. I just How? Figured, I don't know. I was just, I just know, like, the equal lateral. Yeah. So, no, there is not. Yeah. No. Wait, how can okay. you? You don't know what these lengths are. Somebody told me that from somewhere, so. <laughs> well, don't trust that somebody. Okay. That was going back to um, We have the, um, how to get the area for trapezoids. Wow, that'd be really annoying. What do you know about all of these triangles? They're equal. No! They're equal. They're the same. That might have been what you heard that like got mistaken. They're e so we have six identical triangles. So that's going to equal our area. Well, don't we just say that each of those sides are eight, right? Not each of the sides. The bottom is eight. Yelling out How do we find the area of a triangle? Height times, and then 
Isn't that just like putting two of your triangles together? So to do the rhombus, you're gonna do. Wait, isn't the area of a rhombus base times height? Yeah. Don't we? So either way, you need the height. Yeah. You're acting like rhombus will somehow be easier. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying it's wrong, but I'm just saying like okay. I don't think it's easier. Hey, what you're doing? Mix the rulers, and then it doesn't make a straight line. When you hit them against each other, it puts mix in them. So just, yeah, not that. So we need the height. Malarkey. Well, what does that mean, like, hit them? Malarkey is like, like, bull crap, in a way. It's like, <laughs> like when somebody says, like, like, that's malarkey, they're saying, like, yeah, that's not true. It's like a very Appalachian thing to say. Crap, crap, crap. Hold on. What do we know about those triangles? They're not equilateral. They're isosceles. Hey, stick with me, because I'm going to leave you, like, you're going to leave me before we actually figure out how to... they're isosceles, then how can we tell which one is... Because they're negative. Okay, but... Is it Oh, Athena. Divided by six. So, so this angle is sixty. Oh, so then it's a forty. No. Sixty thirty. <laughs> no, he like forty. Mister Hudson, what do you think? It is an equilateral. They're not always. Stop with your angle. They're not always. Is it with regular? Is it always with regular hexagons? Pause yourself. Are equilateral triangles some shortcut for you? Yeah. At the lunch break, can Simon Fish please stop by the remote office for a moment? Thank you. It being equilateral doesn't matter. Because even if I know 8, 8, and 8, I still don't know the height. You can, you can then figure out the height. Make a bisector. Right? So this is where we're going to stop for today. Okay. I have, what are these? I feel like I have a lot of things that I owe you guys. Yeah. Wow, I owe you guys a lot. I'm horrible with You guys should sort of, I don't know, there's some practice. I'm legit horrible with the Oh, these are old, what the heck? Yeah, these are old. Let's see, what do we have here? These are not the most recent tests. Sorry, I still gotta get those out of my thing over here. Yeah, so if you have errors to fix, I don't think we fixed them yet. Yeah, it's not like a chapter for us. Look, I know that you're busy. You guys don't have big fixes. There's that. There's this. Oh, yeah. Now, nobody actually got a mastery on this test because we all have errors to fix. Oh, but still, no. Athena did do the best, so, you know, just to embarrass Athena. We'll say that again. Okay, Athena, you are the best. Yeah, I know I did that one wrong. Um, um, okay. You want to know the trap doors? 